So the question is, how can we participate in what God wants to do in our lives? And how can we make sure that we don't do something that would kind of exclude us from what God wants to do in our lives? And the story I want to go to is in Luke chapter 1. You know, it's the Christmas season. And I think this is very appropriate. So there's two people that were born, you know, around the time that Jesus was born, Jesus being one of them, that were very important. One of them being Jesus, of course, and the other one being John the Baptist, who I believe was born about six months before Jesus. So they were very close together in age, okay? And so here's what happened. Zechariah, who is John the Baptist's father, is in the temple, and he gets told that his wife, Elizabeth, is going to have this son even in her really old age. And he says this phrase, this is the key to the whole thing. He says, how can I be sure this will happen? How can I be sure this will happen? And because he didn't believe, the angel made him mute until his son was born. And what the angel says, because you didn't believe, but what, let's go a little deeper into that. What does it really mean when we don't believe what God is telling us that God is going to do? What we really are saying is, that we are taking on the responsibility that we believe it's not possible to happen through us. I I don't believe that Zechariah, who served in the temple his whole life, I believe that he believed in God, that he was a God-fearing man. I don't believe he was saying, this is impossible for you. He was a man who believed that God had created the heavens and the earth. I believe that he put himself in the role of the one that had to cause God's promise to happen. He had to bring it about. Same thing, by the way, that Abraham and Sarah did, right, with Ishmael and Isaac, okay? So Zechariah is feeling the same way, and because his unbelief means that he is placing himself into a role and a responsibility that's not his own, God says, okay, now you're excluded from the process until I'm done, not because I don't like you, but because you've got the wrong understanding of our roles. Now, we go down a little bit further, and it's a beautiful contrast. The same angel comes to Mary, the mother of Jesus, and says, listen, I mean, says to Mary something more extreme and unbelievable than what he said to Zechariah, right? He says, you're a virgin, but you're going to have a child, and the child is going to be God, the Son of God. And Mary does not say, how can I be sure this will happen? She says almost the same thing, but takes out a few words. She says, how can this happen? So she doesn't say, how can I be sure? How can I know? It's on me. I'm not sure if I believe it's possible. What I'm envisioning is it's not possible for me to make this happen, which is how Zechariah was acting. Instead, Mary says, I believe you. Now, how are you going to do it? I believe what you're telling me. Tell me the plan. Show me my role. Help me, God, understand. Because you've come into my life. Obviously, you want me to participate in this, and God does want us to participate, right? He has a plan for your life. He wants you to participate, but too often we're left standing and going, what's the plan? I don't see the plan. Why am I not participating? Why do I feel kind of left out of the plan and not clued into the plan? It's because he's come and told you at some point in your life, this is what I'm going to do in your life. And then what we go and do is try to make the thing happen. We go, how can I be sure? Let's see, I guess I could be sure if I go and get that degree. And then I go and get the you know, extended degree, the graduate degree, the master's degree, the doctorate degree, something else. You know, How can I be sure that the dreams that you've planted in my heart are going to happen? You know, maybe I need to work more than 40 hours a week, 50, 60, 70, 80 hours a week. We bring it onto ourselves. Mary didn't do that. She said, okay, so tell me how you're going to do it. And and then the angel says, you know, this is how we're, this is exactly, like lays out the whole plan. And Mary says, I'm the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And then later on, when she goes to visit Elizabeth, Zechariah's wife, who's pregnant with John the Baptist, Elizabeth says in verse 45 of Luke chapter 1, Mary, you are blessed because you believed that the Lord would do what he said. So now, just get that right here at the end. It's not just that you're blessed because you believed. You're blessed because you believed that the Lord would do. You're blessed because you understood your role. You're, you're blessed because you said, you know what, God, if you say it's going to happen and you say that's how it's going to happen, 
because I needed to know what the plan was to some degree because you know I just need to know what you want me to do. But I absolutely believe that you're gonna do it and I understand that it's up to you to do it. I understand that it's in your hands to do it. You know, the, the ball, 90% of the time rests in your court. It's just kind of my role to believe, obey, and show up and go along with the plan. Zechariah wasn't willing to do that. You know, Zechariah says, how can I be sure this will happen? I'm an old man now. And my wife is also well along in years. In two sentences, he said, I, I, old man, referring to himself, my wife. Four times. Doesn't say anything to God. Like, how are you going to do it? He just says, how are we going to bring this about, what you're saying? And God goes, it's not just that you didn't believe. It's that you don't, like all this time in your life, Zechariah, and you don't understand your role in, the, in carrying out the plan that I have for your life, through your life, to the world. But to Mary, she goes, okay, how is this going to happen? The angel says, awesome, here, here's how it's going to happen. And she goes, I'm your servant. J just let me know what to do. I'm here. And what we do too often is go after that degree, the graduate degree, work more than we really should so we don't spend enough time with our family, you know, do all these things to bring the dream into our hands. Do all these things to bring the vision, you know, into our court, right? So we sit thinking long at night, anxious, unable to sleep, worried, wondering, how are we going to accomplish this? How are we going to bring this about? How are we going to make this happen? Instead, we should be saying, what's your plan? I am your servant. I'm here to follow you. I'm here to do whatever you have, whatever you, you know, have for me to do, whatever you say. Let's go and do it. And God's going to go, you believe. You understand my role and your role. Let's get to it. I want to do extraordinary and miraculous things through you is what God is saying to you but he's gonna do it. You just be obedient and available.